In this video, I want to show you how you can change the default location of a virtual machine in VMware Player. I will also show you towards the end of the video how you can move a virtual machine to a different location. So in VMware Player, if you want to create a new virtual machine, and you see this default location here, VMware Player automatically puts the default location under your documents and then under a folder called virtual machine and it will create a new folder here the same as the virtual machine name. So you can change it here of course if you click on browse and you can choose the folder you want. But each time you need to change this default location from here to here. So if you want to change this by default here is how to do it. First, you need to close VMware Player. And then in the search box, you need to go to the App Data folder. So put percent App Data percent and hit enter. And here you have a folder called VMware. Double click on it. You'll find in this folder a file called preferences.ini. The first thing to do is to back up the preferences.ini file because if you mess up its content, VMware Player will no longer start. So let me copy it first, right click, copy. I'm just gonna put it under documents. So right click, paste, and let's go back to the update folder. Just click on back here. And here we are in the update folder. Now that the file is backed up, we need to open it. Double click on it to open it. Make sure you open it in Notepad. And at the end of this file, we need to add a line. So this is the line you need to add. Preference VMX dot default VM path equal. And then between quotes, you need to put the new location. In my case here, I want to put them into the D drive. Backslash virtual machines. And then you need to close the quotes. So here I need to put them in this drive under a folder called virtual machines. So now you need to save the file and then close it. And let's try now to create a new virtual machine. So let me create a new virtual machine just to show you. And I'm going to click on next, keep it on Windows. This is just an example. And you see here that the location changed by default. So if I continue, I can create the virtual machine. I'm going to create it just to show you. Here's the virtual machine. If you go to the D drive now, you see that a new folder called virtual machines was created. And this is a new virtual machine created in it. So this is how you change the default location of newly created virtual machines. Now, previously created virtual machines can still remain on the older default location. You don't have to move them. But what about if you want to move them? So as you see here, I have this Ubuntu virtual machine and it has its location under documents also. To move it is very easy. First, you need to close VMware player and then Go to the location of the virtual machine. So in my case here, it is under documents, virtual machines, and this is the Ubuntu virtual machine. I want to move it. So right click on it, select cut, and then go to the new location. In my case here, it is under D virtual machines and right click and just select paste. So it will move the virtual machine now to this new location. When the folder is moved, open VMware Player once again, and then remove this old virtual machine here. Right click on it and choose remove from the library. And here go to open a virtual machine, and then go to the new location. And here's a virtual machine, double click on the folder, and then click on the VMX file, and then click on open. And here's the moved virtual machine created again. So let me start it. 
and only once after you move the virtual machine you'll get this dialog box so here because we moved it i'm gonna choose i moved it what does this change and what does it mean if you choose i copied it it will give the virtual machine a new mac address and a new universally unique identifier but because i moved it i don't want to change the uuid and i don't want to change the mac address i'm gonna just click on i moved it and you see here that it will start let me power it off and show you that if you restart it once again you will not get the prompt to choose if you copied or moved it again and that was all i hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up thank you for watching